The mission was to make an unpleasant experience as welcoming and positive an experience as possible. You can do that obviously through outstanding clinical care, but you can also do it through the space. The patients and families coming in, uh, they're stressed. No one wants to bring their child to the hospital. When they walk into the Heart Institute, we want them to get the message, this is a place where you're welcome, where people care, where families and patients can feel comfortable. The environment in which they're uh, receiving care and the environment in which we're delivering care, I think is quite critical to the total outcome. When somebody comes to the Heart Institute, they not only receive excellent care, but they'll remember the place. What you see is a living space. We were able to support all of the new technology that's come into place. Things like MR, echocardiography, the latest exercise equipment. In the past, patients of all ages were grouped in a single waiting room. So what we've done is we put in place actually two separate waiting areas. One for our purely young patients and then one for our adult congenital heart patients. We have the sculpture, we have uh, art from our signature artist, Mackenzie Thar. Uh, one of the things Mackenzie does is he holds workshops for children. He's already held two of them here at Cincinnati Children's where he, he essentially gets them to create art. Mackenzie had challenges in his early childhood. He had learning disabilities. So we felt that his story would resonate with our families. Our families are challenged. Their children have heart disease. What I ask the children to do in the communities that I visit is to bring their love to this figure. There is a very distinct message that we're trying to give. One is it's a very heart and child motif. People come in and they feel at home. And it says down the bottom, I, who have nothing, bring you love so that you will grow in a world of hope. I have spent a lot of time here, and most of, this, most of the time I've been here for a long part of the day. And so she had her first open heart surgery at one week and then she proceeded to have another one at one month and her first pacemaker at two months. We've been here a lot. We've come here, you know, for now almost 13 years. She got to come to the hospital and meet the artist and then we got to come and paint on the sculpture, which was really awesome. I just painted hearts in my favorite colors like pink, purple, blue, red. It makes me feel happy and safe. Just to see all the love and outpouring because every single heart in that was drawn by a child or a, or a family, um, just as an encouragement. I'm, I mean, it's just, it'll make, I, I think it'll bring people hope. So it brings me hope.